Some say Arthur Johnson is the best example of a Colorado oil man in history. The career began in Wyoming, driving horse teams to deliver supplies. It was interrupted by a stint in World War I, a period of Johnson's life of which he is perhaps proudest. But his daughter, who learned much of what she knows of Arthur Johnson's innermost feelings through his memoirs, says there was no doubt he'd return to the business world. He always wanted to be in the oil business for some reason or other, and he always wanted to help people. And um, he always wanted to have the money to be able to do that. And I think that was one of his goals in life. There were others, notably being an expert fisherman, an expert chef, and a banker. Johnson helped guide United Bank of Colorado and its predecessors for four decades. His trademark cigar in hand, he played an instrumental part in helping Denver grow, but not too much or too fast. What would he think of 1995 Denver? I think he'd just drive around and say, my heavens. He likes to see progress, but not to the point where it gets to be like New York City or something like that. Where it gets, it, it's, it's become impersonal is what it has become. And what would Arthur Johnson, oil man and businessman extraordinaire, think of membership in the Colorado Business Hall of Fame? He didn't like to show his emotions too much. But he would, deep down, he would be very proud. And he would tell his family on the side. <laughs> Might not tell anybody else. Might not tell anybody else, that's right. But he'd, he'd be very proud and very happy, and he'd kind of smile about it.